But scripture says, when I walk through the valley, not if I walk through the valley. So what do we do when, when we know it's coming or it might come? Like, what do we hold on to and how do we get through it? I mean, don't you wish that that weren't the case? I know, but seriously. That we could have all of Psalm 23 with no valley. <laughs> right, absolutely. I know, but you're right. There's no if, it's a when. Mm-hmm. And I think part of the thing that I've learned is that in life, we know there's going to be valleys. Yeah. And so if you know it's going to occur, then it's something that we can accept. We accept what we can't change, mm. yet we don't dread it. Because dreading is so much worse than actually going through the valley, yeah. dreading the valley. I know when my daddy was sick, um, I just constantly dreaded, mm. is this going to be it? Is this going to be when he's not going to make it? it? And the dread was so difficult. It takes a lot of like, thought power, oh. and it can just really pull you down into a pit. And it's not even happening yet. You and it's know? not even happening. Yeah. And then here's the thing. When it does happen, Mm -hmm. and by the way, it did happen as soon as I finished filming Psalm 23. Really? He was very sick when I was filming. Um, When it did happen, what I realized is the truth that has existed forever, which is that God is a very present help in times of trouble. Mm. He's very present. That's why we've got to be present in the present. We don't dread. We don't anticipate. We're just present in the present because God is right there in the present. And he was for me. And he is for each of us whenever we're in the valley. Yeah. So what scripture do you hold on to when you're going through a valley? Or what do you cling to? Well, I have multi-valley verses. <laughs> Ooh, multi-valley <laughs> verses. I love that. I mean, there's that. all sorts of valleys, right? You're right, which we'll learn about in your teaching. Yes. So so you got to have a verse for every valley, you're right? right. Um, but I think for me, a general one is yeah. I always come back to that um, Isaiah 43, mm-hmm. uh, verses 2 and 3. Where the scripture is saying, when, and there you go, it's the when. Yeah. When you pass through the waters, I will be with you. And when you pass through the rivers, they will not sweep you away or yeah. overtake you. And when you walk through the fire, you won't be alone there. Yeah. It will. The fire will not set you ablaze because I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel. I mean, that's the reality. That when it happens, He's there. 